have you any self-respect? You're supposed to be a legendary Pokemon. I was wrong about everything! The big question is, would Mewtwo be scared by a cucumber? Hmm? Okay, but like, how would Mew and Mewtwo react to petting? Ugh. Why are you just standing there like... <clears throat> Don't wipe your hand on me. Yup! Ah, uh, but the real question for Mewtwo as a cat beyond boxes and cucumbers... Laser pointers. Finally, some peace and quiet. <laughs> hmm, how would Mew or Mewtwo react if they fell into a bathtub or had splashed by water? Just came to my mind. <laughs> Mew, we've been at this for an hour now! Get in the tub! 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 Mew! Uh. Don't worry, I won't even try it with you. Wise of you. Okay, but like, cats have a tendency to demand attention whenever and wherever they want, no matter what time it is, or what the activity you're doing. So would Mew and Mewtwo be the same? Let me in, Ash. Mewtwo, you said you'd be wandering the night. I did. Now I'm finished. It's four in the morning! You really think I wasn't aware of that? You're the world's most powerful Pokémon who can come and go as you please. Why can't you just teleport? This is because of the laser pointer thing, isn't it? TC, can Ash introduce Catnip to Mew and Mewtwo? <sighs> You're a good human, Ash. Huh? I don't think I tell you that enough. Are you getting shorter? Uh, how are 
you the semi! <coughs> I have hands. Wait, how did Mew and Mewtwo ended up hanging around with Ash in the first place? Did Ash manage to capture them both? Or made some kind of truce with them? Pika? Hey Pikachu, where are you going? Pika? Pika? Pikachu? Pikachu, did you find something? Oh. Mewtwo. So, what happened to Mewtwo? Thanks for the help, Charizard. <laughs> Look who's finally awake! Pika! Hey Mewtwo, long time no see. And don't worry, you're safe here. Where is... here? You're in my house. I figured you wouldn't want to be around a Pokemon Center after all. The best part is, no one knows you're here. Pika! <laughs> You think Mewtwo eats with silverware, or with its bare hands, or just uses telekinesis? You proud of yourself? Very. What do you think Mewtwo would think of the Lucario from Movie 8? What, what a crush. Since Mewtwo came from Mew, would Mewtwo consider Mew his dad? Huh? Mew! Enough of this! I'm not any child of yours! Did you put Mewtwo in timeout? Mew. Quiet, you. <laughs> now that Mew and Mewtwo are around, did the Team Rocket give up on following Ash? Look, it's the Twerp and his Pikachu all by themselves. They're practically asking for us to take that Pikachu. It would certainly be rude to pass up that request. Meow! Pipe down, you guys. This is a golden opportunity here. An opportunity, you say? <laughs> <laughs> Care to elaborate? Huh? Hey, Mewtwo. What's going on? It was a wild pity. You would have stood a chance.
just let me hug you this once? Where do Mew and Mewtwo sleep? Pushing your luck. time to wake up, and I recall that you insisted you wouldn't oversleep again. What would happen when you and Mewtwo switch bodies? are so small. Does Mewtwo actually care about Ash, or does he need him for something? You know, Mewtwo, I've been wondering. You seemed all healed up now. Why are you sticking around? Not that we mind or anything, but don't you have somewhere to go? Still alive. Well, you could do what you like. Me and Pikachu are gonna go see where that Entei sighting was. Maybe we'll even find it. No. But Entei! I said no. Oh, come on! Why did your mother let you out of your house? Have Mew or Ash seen Mewtwo's mega evolution? You aren't seriously going back out there already. I still have some unfinished business with that group of Rhyhorn. Don't bother trying to stop me. Nothing you say can change my mind. Well, I guess I'll just mosey on back to bed then. Good talk, Ash. Has Mewtwo ever learned about the time Ash got turned into a Pikachu? Has he ever tried to use that to his advantage? Oh, and I remember this one other time we met this lady with a spellbook or something like that? She could do magic stuff! Mm -hmm. It was pretty cool! She even turned me into a Pikachu! Well, that sounds like something that would happen to you. Yeah, so anyways, long story short, it happened again. <laughs> You were only gone for five minutes! I know, right? How did Ash's mom react to Mew and Mewtwo? She was in Team Rocket back in the day. Ash, I thought I told you to bring out your laundry! Uh. I'm erasing her memory. Don't! Ash, catch him! What on earth do you think you're doing? Can't just leave this poor Pokemon without a cozy blanket to wrap up in. And don't just feed it leftover curry. I'll go make a fresh batch. And don't forget to change its bandages. Does Mewtwo know about the other legendary Pokemon Ash has come to meet? I suppose it would only be right of you to tell me just how many legendary Pokemon you've encountered. Uh, well, you know, Mewtwo, it really wasn't that many. Not that many big ones, that is. I 
I guess you've never really seen snow before, huh? Evidently, no. It's harmless. Just frozen water. You should try stepping in it. Well, unless you're too scared. Hoodie Gabby! I am not scared by something so trivial. And so says the Pikachu riding on its human shoulder. Something. You don't say. Hmm? Oh! Why, Ash? It seems you have fallen into an old Onyx tunnel. You're a riot, you two. out of nowhere we should get out of this rain and find that Pokemon another time too bad really you could make a big storm but I guess you can't get rid of one huh mm -hmm. oh! look out <gasps> missed that. That was definitely dumb luck. Even by my standards, huh, you two? What on earth were you thinking? You stupid child! You nearly got yourself killed when I was fully capable of protecting myself! Have you no sense of self-preservation? Sorry. I guess I was acting on reflex. I just don't like it when my friends get hurt. Dull moment with you, is it? Yeah, afraid I can't help that. So Mewtwo's basically like a hairless cat, right? So what would a long hair Mewtwo look like? I want to see Mewtwo blip. Pikachu! Pika! Mew! Hmm? Blip? Pichu brothers react when they see Mew on holiday. Pichu Since you often compare Mew and Mewtwo to real-life cats, do either of them ever bring Ash presents in the form of hunted prey? Hey Mew, you look like you've got something to show us. Mm -hmm. Mew! Huh? Mm. Birthday, Mewtwo! Hey, Mewtwo! 
check this out! It's your lucky day today! My mom made this raspberry cake, and so I thought I'd get a piece for you. You ever tried cake before? I haven't. Hmm. Hmm. It's nice. I thought you'd like it. So what did you do? Uh, what? Don't think you can butter me up. I know your tricks, Ash, and I'm not falling for it. Hey, I didn't do anything for once, I swear! Oh, like the time it was nothing when you gave me ice cream because you angered that entire herd of Tauros. That was a peace offering! And besides, it wasn't even that big of a deal! So what is it this time? Giratina hiding under your bed? Can a guy give some cake to his friend without the suspicion? <sighs> I guess Mewtwo's also having a bad sleep. They got to. I never thought Mewtwo of all Pokemon would have nightmares. <laughs> then again, it makes sense. It's been through so much. I know how you feel about contact like this, but I just want you to know it's okay. So, what would it take for Mewtwo to laugh? I can imagine Mew pulling pranks on Mewtwo, 
does Mewtwo ever get back at Mew? Do Mew Mewtwo ever regret, uh, killing Ash before? Now that we've returned your memories of our first encounter, I understand if your view of me should change. After all, what I tried to do, and what I did to you, is unforgivable. Well, I mean, after everything you went through, I can't really blame you for feeling hurt and mad. It's not like you had the best influences at the start, so how are you supposed to know the right thing to do? Don't even worry about it, you guys. I'm not mad at either of you for what happened. And I hope we can keep being great friends. Ash. Huh? You're not exactly helping my guilt here. Where did you say we would find that supposed rare Pokemon again? Should be pretty close with what the professor- Oh no! Not you! What? What is- uh, Who? It's a Jigglypuff. No, you don't get it, Mewtwo. You don't know this Jigglypuff. So it has a microphone. It's- Still a Jigglypuff. Whatever, we just need to get away from it unless you want your day ruined. I think you might be exaggerating. Man, you know, if only there was some way we could have known this was going to happen, huh? appreciate the gesture, but that's not necessary. Nonsense! Mm -hmm. I won't hear of it. You need to let yourself feel special every now and then, you know? See? Now you look even more handsome. Oh. Thank you. Oh, I'm so glad you like it. Mm -hmm. Well, it would be rude to just take it off. So, how would Mewtwo and Mew react to those cat tunnels? Mm. 
is this fun yet? No, you've already had three helpings. This one's mine. I don't care if you still have room. Would you just... <laughs> Mew doing a cat yawn, where it starts cute, then scary teeth. Are Mew and Mewtwo able to further prove that cats are liquid? <laughs> what does Mewtwo think of Ash's mom? You're finally back. And where have you been all night? Do you have any idea how late it is? I'm plenty aware, but I... <clears throat> oh no! I don't want any excuses, young mon! You had me worried sick, you know. You could have gotten in serious trouble, and none of us would have known. I don't care how powerful you think you are. You can't be so reckless. Perhaps next time... I'll... leave a note? Well, I should hope so. Now hurry on to bed, or you'll be tired tomorrow. Meow, meow. Don't you get on my case! Mewtwo is an absolute mother hen. Meow, meow, meow. I am not a mother hen just because I think more rationally than the rest of you. And where do you think you're going? I was just walking. You were just walking to that raid battle you heard about. Don't lie to me. Oh, come on, Mewtwo. It's not like it's that dangerous. The last time you said that, Articuno almost buried you in a glacier. Just go back inside and wait for me. Okay, fine. Pika. And I can do without the attitude. I'm going, I'm going. What? How thrilled would OG Mewtwo be when he finally gets to meet M16 Mewtwo? So, I'm not the only abomination of science after all. That shouldn't be possible. How do I know this isn't some trick? I could say the same. But if I had malicious intent, I would have aimed that attack at you, not the Pharaoh. Uh, hey Mewtwo, where'd you go? Find something? Mewtwo... and... Mewtwo? 
Ash? Ash. What? what? It seems to have brought back friends. Uh, we should probably get out of here. Did it uh, never occur to you that I might want to know of the existence of another one of my kind? Well, I mean, you never asked? So, you met a Mewtwo before me. Did you catch this one, Ash? I'm insulted by the assumption. We became friends a while back. I mean, it is kind of cool I got to meet both Mewtwo and that you guys got to meet each other. Hey, maybe we can all be friends. What just happened? We were teleported by Mew, it would seem. Did you say Mew? So, has Mewtwo ever given himself a little bellyache after gorging himself on the Nami food he suddenly has access to, or eating it too fast, and given his Mama Mew the chance to mother him to her heart's content? This is your fault, and I hate you. by something as mundane as a sofa. You're just annoyed I took your spot. I really like Mewtwo. Does she interact with Mew much? We've seen Mewtwo and Mew interact in the movie and in the comics, but other than Mew saying, new baby, to Mewtwo, is she comfortable around Mew? Mew, what are you doing up here? I'm really not your child. Or, I guess I am? The other Mewtwo won't let you hug it, I assume? Girl, you have no idea. Has you plans to involve Punchy Bappy into the Mewverse? Riolu's gonna hate Mewtwo, but respect and love Mewtwo, placing my bets. As a bonus, Riolu will either be weirded out, fascinated, or annoyed by Mew. I wouldn't be so relaxed at the moment. There's an aggressive Pokemon roaming around. Duly noted. Chummy, don't tell me you told it to go after me earlier. I am just as lost as you are. I just realized something. Mew floats around in all kinds of directions, even being upside down, right? So, what if Mew has this kind of gyroscopic sense of balance that prevents them from getting dizzy? Do you think Mewtwo has that?
It stands to reason that we do. But I suppose there's only one way to find out. Hmm. Well, it turns out there is a limit to our gyroscopic sense of balance. Always good to know. There is no need for such a look. The nausea will pass. There's no need for such a look. The stomach ache will pass. Be quiet. Did Mew use mutosis to have the Mewtwo's? That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Brains require lots of calories to use. Psychic levitation even more so. It's amazing he wasn't a skeleton with how little he supposedly ate before. I probably forgot to eat breakfast. That's all. It's no concern of yours. Has Ash ever cried in front of Mewtwo before? If so, how did Mewtwo react? Hey Mewtwo, you got a minute? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's just me and Pikachu. Don't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to surprise you. Just be more mindful. I could have taken your head off. Yeah, yeah, my bad. So, did you need something? Why all the excitement? <laughs> did I startle you that much? You don't need to cry. Really, it was just a mistake. Not that. It's just... I'm so sorry. It's not fair. What you went through. What people did to you. Someone approaching you from behind shouldn't scare you. It doesn't matter how you were made. You didn't deserve all that. And... I feel like I'm not making it any better. Well, crying won't really change that it happened. Yeah. I know. Sorry. You tend to have a habit of apologizing for things you aren't responsible for. Mm -hmm. But it is that selfless attitude of yours that truly opened my eyes to the potential humanity had for good. So I prefer you not compare yourself to the ones who caused me pain. You have changed me for the better, Ash. Don't forget that. just said there's no need to cry! You're a good friend, Mewtwo! And we all love you! <sighs> okay, but 
Tiny Riolu climbing up Newtu has made my heart weak. How dare they! Okay, so we all know that Mewtwo has a thing for tea. Would Mewtwo have the same? Or will she be that one person that prefers coffee over tea? Or maybe some other type of warming beverage? Honestly, I myself prefer coffee. Not like in the coffee either? Ugh. It smells a lot better than it tastes. How does anyone drink this? Well, there's something else you can try. Have you considered hot chocolate? Hot chocolate? Hmm. <laughs> it's mine! Does Mewtwo have the same love for hot chocolate as Mewtwo? Do they fight over it? Are you sure you don't want to try hot chocolate? It's pretty good, you know. I don't even know how you can drink that. It's far too sweet. And it would make me sick. It's practically a blood sugar disaster in a cup. Honestly, you don't have to take it out on the drink just because you have a tender tummy. I do not! Can't wait to see Newtwo's reaction to Ash's many deaths. Uh. Hey there, little fella. i never seen a Pokemon like you before. Ash, in what way did any of this seem like a good idea to you? Don't worry, Mewtwo. I'm a good climber. I can see that. But it's the lethal height that draws concern here. He's just climbing a tree with you as a spotter. Is it really that bad? It is when you know just how many situations this boy has gotten himself into with less. Don't you think you might be overreacting? Ash has tempted fate far too many times to be healthy. From falling off things to coming back from being petrified. And you act as if he hasn't done anything stupid in the time you've known him. Well, I do remember he stepped between me and a trigger-happy Genesect. Multiple times, but... Is he really that disaster-prone? This seems exaggerated. Oh, you'll learn. Yeah, Mewtwo! It's not as bad as you think! I've fallen from way higher places than this! There we go. Well... I mean, believe it or not, that wasn't as bad at the time. Please, stop talking. Does Riolu attack Mewtwo a lot? I see it's still very clingy with you. You act as if I asked for this. Well, don't be too surprised if it turns on you without warning. <laughs> it caught you off guard that one time, but you act as if all this Riolu wants to do is attack everyone. Can you prove that it won't? You really are overdramatic. And yet every time you say that, I end up being right about said drama. <laughs> oh. Really? <laughs> Again? Okay. I yield. It really doesn't like you. I noticed. That Mewtwo might be a grouch, but I don't see why you feel the need to attack it all the time. Well, it's a noble thought. 
but I can protect myself just fine. Huh? How does the little punchy bappy Riolu react to Mew itself? What on earth did you do? I found a thing you may find important. Mewtwo likes pizza. Noted. The Mew crew has pizza parties. It's canon. No arguing. Am I going to finish this? You ate a whole pizza on your own! So, can we safely say that Mew is the Pokemon equivalent to Kirby with how much it eats? In other words, Mew has a pocket dimension in its stomach. Cute if he just picked up Riolu and handed him to Nutu after they went inside. I think this belongs to you. Is so strange. No. If I don't want lunch, that's my business. I don't need you force feeding me. Yeah. Uh oh, looks like it's raspberry time for Pikachu. Pika. <laughs> pika, pika. solid five minutes. It makes me wonder, how would Mewtwo react if Mew tries the raspberry on her next? <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
You aren't even going to finish yours. That's pretty wasteful. How? Okay then. Now all we need is for Tender Tummy to accidentally eat a Pecha Berry and suffer from it so much he'll beg for the sweet release of death. You really are a glass tank with this kind of stuff, huh? Why me? Removed all the pokey nip, you say? <laughs> Calling it now, Mew intentionally kept that catnip to use on Mewtwo, because he needs to relax. It's not good for his health to be stressed all the time. It got mixed up, though, and ended up in Mew's hot cocoa instead of Two's tea, though. I'm only saying, you would have a lot of health improvements if you drink tea instead of hot chocolate. Oh, yes. Because you're the absolute picture of health. It's not making me worse, is it? And at least the tea won't give me a rapid heartbeat, like your cocoa would at the rate you drink it. You really think you're oh so smart, huh? Fine then, I'll take your stupid tea. What do you know? It's still just hot leaf water. I feel so much healthier. You could have made your own tea. That was supposed to be mine. Oh, cry me a river. how you even discovered the day of my creation, but it doesn't matter. I'd prefer not to receive any reminders of that day. It is not something that should be celebrated. So you don't want your birthday cake huh? then? Really? No self-control at all. Oh, hush. I don't judge you on your excessive tea drinking habit. Hmm... You should frown less. You'll get wrinkles. Bite me. If Ash squeezes the second neck thing, they go limp like a kitten. Do Mew and Nu like boxes as much as a kitten does? Hey, <sighs> excuse me. I am talking here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks? Yeah, it's candy, but it's not that sweet either. Want to try it? Why on earth would I? Mm. Have you seen these ingredients? I can't believe you were even putting these in your bodies. Look, you don't have to be such a party pooper about it. <laughs> you couldn't have mentioned that earlier? Oh, uh, don't swallow it right away. It's gonna feel weird for a while if you do. I rest my case. It's about time. You didn't stop pacing the entire time you were gone. I was not. <laughs> Planting new flowers? I sure am. Don't they look pretty? A friend of mine brought seeds for me from their trip down south. I grew them with Mimi's help. They do look nice. Yolu, huh? if you're going to cling to me, at least hold tight. Don't slip off again. Not only are they beautiful, but they also bloom maybe once every few decades. I guess we got a pretty lucky break for one to bloom today, huh, Mimi? Mm. Hmm. just staring off into space. I'm sorry, I need to go. I suddenly feel a bit... strange. Pokemon Center? Hmm. Ugh, no. I won't go to a Pokemon Center. I refuse. You're ill because of all the sweets you insist to have. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Clearly you aren't that sick. It's not like you're the only one real loose punched. That was the first thing he did to me the moment he hatched. Huh. You know, that reminds me. Do Mews lay eggs too? Legendaries and mythicals are rare and all, but there must be something like that. I've seen more than one Lugia, anyways. Mews have young all by themselves, and don't lay eggs, apparently. For a Mew to have offspring, things have to be very specific. Their health, their mindset, time of year. They'll carry their babies in their tummies until they're born. Hmm. Wow, that's like humans. <laughs> oh, and for any of this to happen, a very special flower must be blooming and release its pollen. <laughs> it only blooms once every few hundred years. That's 
very oddly specific. Then again, that makes sense for someone like you. Hmm. Now, it's all I can think of. Mews can have young all on their own. Would it be possible for one of us to have the same? Is that why I've been feeling so off? Well, if you were expecting, I don't think we would be able to tell either way. You know, for such a smart psychic Pokemon, you can be really dumb, you two. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, I thought you didn't like spicy things. I don't! Oh. Oh, no. You want me to? Yes, I would like another. something in there, you say? Hmm. So, it really is happening. Huh? There's nothing to worry about. But thanks for telling me. Oh my goodness! I'm so happy for you, Mewtwo! Having a baby is so exciting! Exciting... I suppose... Though I feel more nervous than anything. Well, sure. First time jitters are normal for... It's not just that. I am an artificial clone, made by people. I'm not a Mew. I don't even know how this was possible. Am I even capable of carrying it long enough? Will it even survive after birth? And what'll happen if bad humans, Pokémon hunters, scientists... What if they discover its existence? They'll want to study it, hunt it down? I can't bear the thought of it enduring anything like what the other Mewtwo or I did. Hey now, easy does it. Don't get yourself worked up over what-ifs and maybes. I know I can't begin to understand what you went through back then, but it doesn't have to happen again. You're a strong Pokemon, and I know you wouldn't let it. It's okay to be afraid. After all, no first-time parent is ever really ready for this kind of thing at the start. I know I wasn't ready myself. But thankfully, you won't have to go it alone. You have your family there to help you out every step of the way. You have me, you have Ash, Pikachu, Riolu, Mew. You even have Mr. Cranky as well. He's practically like a brother to you. Even if he pretends he doesn't care, I know he does too. He'd probably be the most doting uncle when no one is looking. Take it from one mom to another, and it'll all work out. So just hang in there. Whatever happens, we'll figure it out. <gasps> oh my goodness! I think that was a kick! Everything? It's not me. Ugh, this constant kicking. Be grateful you don't have to deal with this. Look me in the eye and say that again. Oh, honestly, can you just sympathize for once in your... Oh, right. Pregnant? I highly doubt that. I know you overheard our discussion with Mew in regards to its reproduction, and clearly it's made you paranoid. I know it seems impossible, but I- It is impossible. We aren't Mews and we can't bear any offspring. We're just man-made weapons. We can't raise young ones. Those kicks are just stomach pains. They'll go away with time, but you need to improve your diet if you want them to. 
I'm sorry, but it's best not to dwell on things like that. She seems especially sick today, huh, buddy? Not you. Don't know what's going on with her, though. What do you think we should do to help? Pika! Pikachu! Yeah, I think I know what you're thinking. Uh... Hey, Mewtwo! Check it out! Ash, please. I just need some quiet. That's why we made you your own personal debt. Aw, baby Mewtwo. We need Grandpappy Arceus now. Just Arceus gushing about its grandchild. Hmm. My heart is full of rainbows! Such a beautiful baby bean! You must be so proud! I'll let you know when I wake up. It's okay if you're tired. Bringing a little one into the world takes a lot of energy! So cool that it's green! I guess that must have been a surprise, huh? Why is it green? Is something wrong? Is it sick? I was not freaking out. I don't know why you're all making such a ruckus this early. Some of us like a quiet morning, too. I'm so happy Mew was there for new two during the birthing. It legit warms my heart and soul. Caught you on a bubble. <sighs> Difficult to face being wrong about something, hmm? Yes. My entire view of myself has just been turned on its head, but by all means, rub it in. You think I didn't go through these thoughts when I realized what was going to happen? In case you've forgotten, I'm the same species you are. How did you take it so well? We are Mewtwo, not Mew. We were built to be weapons, 
This shouldn't have been possible. You seem so sure of that. And yet, here we are. All this time and you still have such a bleak outlook on us. We might be artificial, but we're still alive, aren't we? Made from the same DNA of Mew. Some of those traits must have remained. Just because you weren't born the usual way, it doesn't mean you're any less of a Pokemon, Mewtwo. I thought you already knew that. Don't you remember Purity Canyon? Probably hungry. What? what are you doing? I just need to get him berries. You only have to hold him. I didn't agree to this. Oh, Arceus, help me. Twelve seconds later. them up so it won't be hard on his tiny tummy. I appreciate that, Miss Ketchum. Not a problem. He can give it a try and I'll get him a more reasonable serving if he likes it. <gasps> Looks like it's good. Hard on his tiny tummy, you say? Gotta make sure to burp Huey after each meal. Uh oh. I'll, uh, I'll go get you a towel. So now you feel nauseous after all that berry puree you had? Even after you were just so insistent on eating more after emptying your stomach onto my back. And look where we are now. You know, if you keep this up, you'll become as round as a jigglypuff and won't be able to do anything but roll around. Is that what you want?
So, if baby 2 technically came from the flower, does that mean the flower has to pay child support? <laughs> You need to sleep. Please stop crying. Here, I think you need the chair more than I do. You can't keep this up all night. Mama needs sleep too. You're just one of those nights, huh? Uh, I think at this point he's just crying to make noise. I remember when my little Ash was fussy at night. I would sing him a lullaby to help him sleep. I don't sing. It's okay if you aren't comfortable doing that. Here, I have something else you can do. First, we can wrap him up nice and snug. Now he's a cozy little Mewtwo burrito. Next, you just need to hold him nice and snug against your chest. Like that. Wow. It's working so fast. Babies can be comforted by their mama's heartbeat. After all, he knew it even before he was born. Being all wrapped up might remind him of being safe and cozy in the womb. He'll thrive on lots of cuddles and hugs. I see. There's still so much I don't know about things like this. I was grown inside of a glass tube by scientists in a lab, so... It's not like I was given cuddles and hugs in that time. As a fellow mom, I think you're doing just fine. Well, he's worth it. Ash, I don't know. It doesn't feel right if he's not with me. Trust me, you need some alone time to get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on baby too. We don't even have to leave the room if it makes you feel better. How does that sound, Mewtwo? Uh, Mewtwo? <sighs> Baby, you gotta stop crying! Your mommy needs sleep, so we gotta be quiet! Hey, check it out! I can show you a magic trick! <gasps> Say, what's this? There's something behind your head! Huh? Look at that! A shiny pebble! <laughs> uh, let's not tell her about that. He missed you a lot during your nap, but we had a lot of fun. Pikachu's impressions always break down the house. Thanks for keeping an eye on him. No problem! Why did he spit up a rock? <laughs> Please don't do that. You're doing great! 
Keep steady in the breeze. Mima? You're safe now. I've got you. See? There's no need to be afraid. It's me. It's Mama. I just look a little different, but you know me. I think I saw it the other day, but maybe it was just a Butterfree. Hmm? Teething ring from Miss Delia? I appreciate the offer, but he's not really teething yet. Seen Mew's appetite? I wouldn't be surprised if Mewtwo and Newtu occasionally munched on some space rocks. Like that, you're going to dislocate my shoulder. content with staring at me. Why don't you just do that to your actual parent? Mm -hmm. Why am I so interesting to you? Me? Why is it all of you are so determined to bother me? Can you not understand? I just want a little time to myself. Mom. I'm yelling at an infant. Yeah. Still afraid of him? I'm sure you're loving this, but it's not that. Holding him alone, I can feel everything. Every heartbeat, every breath of air he takes in. It makes him feel... more real. Believe me, I know. I am the one who brought him here, after all. Sometimes it's still a bit surreal to me as well. And he's so taken with me, no matter how much I push him away. You aren't the most cuddly, but you certainly fascinate him all the same. You aren't me, but you look like me, so he wants to get to know you. Maybe it would be easier if you let him. I'm sure it won't kill you. Science. His face is fascinatingly malleable. Um. Yeah.
You just keep shuffling on, Mr. Nightmare Guy.